Okay. So the topic that we're going to start today is actually one of the important topics. And this one is electrolysis. Yeah. Electrolysis. Uh, it is one of the applications of redox chemistry. The idea is that redox reactions are always based on transfer of electrons. So that means we can reverse them by transfer of electrons. So I'll give an example. Let's say I have aluminum oxide. How do I make it? I react aluminum with oxygen to make Al2O3. And to do that, once you balance it, aluminum has to transfer electrons to oxygen. How many? Every aluminum atom must give three electrons. How do I know that? I look at the charges. This is plus three, this is negative two. So every aluminum atom should lose three electrons and every oxygen atom should gain two electrons to make aluminum oxide. So technically aluminum gave electrons to oxygen. What if I could reverse it? What if I could take electrons from oxygen and give them back to aluminum ions and I will get aluminum and oxygen back. The forward reaction is a simple redox reaction of aluminum oxidizing, oxygen reducing. The backward reaction is aluminum ion reducing, oxide ion oxidizing. And both of them will give me, will lead me to the same conclusion that I can get pure aluminum out of this by simply doing this. Okay. So forward is redox, backward is redox, but forward is something that happens naturally all the time. Backward is what we can do by using electrolysis. Any questions? Anything you don't understand here? Understand. You do? Okay. So now let's look into it that what exactly is electrolysis and how does it work? Everywhere you see redox reactions, there is some electrons transferred. But to reverse it using electrolysis, using electricity, that is electrolysis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there are many real world applications of this. For example, batteries, they're all electrolytic cells. Okay. And uh, they produce electricity through these processes. So let's first define what electrolysis is. It is the breakdown of ionic compound, or it could be when it is molten or it could be when it is uh, aqueous using electricity. That's what electrolysis is. So what do you need to do this? You need electrolytic cell. You need a setup in which you can do electrolysis. So how does that work? First of all, you need some container for this because you know molten or aqueous, they're both liquids. Then you fill it up with that thing, whatever you have, just say apne, just ka electrolysis karna apne. Okay. Next thing you do take the electrodes. Now there are two electrodes. You need a battery. You connect it with a wire here and to make it a big, give it some surface area. We connect it with an electric rod. This electric rod is called electrode. Now for battery, this side is positive. This side is negative. So that makes this one negative electrode, which is called cathode. Why? Because it attracts cations. Negative attracts positive ions. So that's why this is cathode. And this one is anode. Because it is positive, it attracts anions, negative ions. So those are the ions you have here. You have cations here, which are positive. And you have anions here, which are negative. Okay. And this whole thing is going to react with this thing, which is called electrolyte. So electrolyte is the liquid or aqueous solution that turns, that converts electricity, that transfers electricity. It has cations and anions, which are then attracted to cathode or anode. So first of all, you have to understand that electrolysis ke liye electrolyte has to be a liquid. If you have something that has no ions, then it cannot be electrolyte. If you have something that has ions, but it is solid, 
इट कैन नॉट बी एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ठीक है सो इलेक्ट्रोलाइट मस्ट बी मोल्टन और एक्वस एंड हैव आयन सो दो रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं या उसकी स्टेट ये हो और साथ में उसके पास आय हो अगर उसके पास आय नहीं है तो फिर वो रिएक्ट नहीं कर सकता इलेक्ट्रोलिस नहीं कर सकता ओके आई एम टू आस्क यू सम क्वेश्चंस। टेल मी कैन अल्कोहल बी अ गुड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट नो व्हाई नॉट गुड गुड एल्कोहल डज नॉट हैव आय बट इट बट ओ है ना सॉरी ओ है ना इट हैज ओ एच यस बट इट्स स्टिल एज अ मॉलिक्यूल It's not ions. Okay, another question. Can solid sodium chloride be electrolyte? No. No. Why not? Sir, because it's solid. Uh, or हमारे पास requirement है ionic की molten aqueous की. वो solid है. Yes, the ions are not free. So because it's solid, they cannot move. Okay, tricky question. Is pure water an electrolyte? No, sir. Good. Why not? Sir, because uh, uh, water में ions नहीं होते हैं और ionization के लिए फिर हम acid use करते हैं कुछ. Excellent, excellent था. So because pure water has no ions, it's not an electrolyte. But you add an impurity to water, that impurity can be alcohol. That impurity can be salt. That impurity can be acid, alkali. You add an impurity to water. water will form ions and those ions will then transfer electricity those ions will make it electrolyte theek ho gaya acha 